morning everybody we are in actually in yang yang so my plans kind of changed um today we're going to be wandering around sokcho all the buses were sold out uh for saturday so i decided to start my trip on friday today but there was a little bit of traffic so ended up getting in a little late i got off a bus stop early so that i'm closer to our first destination i have not been to sokcho in a very long time um but i did make a video about it a really long time ago so if you're ever interested in outside of seoul content i do have a place playlist but you can also check my website but that leads me to thank the sponsor of this video which is Squarespace thank you so much um, Squarespace is a place to host your online presence I use it for a personal blog that I have run for four or more years but they have really wonderful features like linking your social media accounts or having a really wonderful comment section that's easy to manage or email subscription lists um, for if you are making a kind of blog they also have monetization features and analytics that are really great if you are trying to open a shop and lots of free templates to make it really easy to set up so if you are interested in starting something maybe in 2024 you can go right now to squarespace.com and set up your website play with the free templates see how it will look and then when you're ready to launch it to the public you can go to squarespace.com slash carry cakes to get 10% off of your first website or domain and once again I will link mine down below as an example love always to Squarespace so I'm actually going to take a taxi over to our first destination because it's only a seven minute taxi ride and um, it's a beautiful day welcome to the East Coast Check. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ride around through my city like no one like me here yeah. Make music in my bedroom that no one will hear hey, Only person that I fear is my girlfriend Okay, we made it. I also want to point out while it's not windy that Sokcho is notorious, all the, the, the entire East Coast is notorious for being very windy and we also have a wind advisory today. So bring a hat, come prepared. They added a whole new building since I've been here. Anyway, off we go, it's, it's gorgeous. So last time I was here, right standing right where I am now, there was it was pandemonium. What am I missing? Why is everyone taking pictures of that rock with like the biggest cameras I've ever seen and why are a lot of people in camouflage? Because on this cliff, a family of owls lived there and apparently they were like visible and so everybody had these like massive cameras out and it was just like this whole area was so crowded and there was a sign because that's the only reason i know why there's a family of owls there and the sign isn't there anymore <laughs> did they move <laughs> so if you come here underneath this pavilion this cliff keep your eyes peeled maybe you'll see the elusive famous Naksansa owls. Now I'm heading to their tea house. One of the entrances was closed, but there were still people sitting in there, so I'm gonna find out how to get there. I'm just, I'm such a sucker for coastal areas with pine trees. Clear air. <sighs> Oh, 
So yeah, the tea place was open and I have the whole place to myself and this is my view. Not bad. Little story time. So the last time I was here, which was five going on six, it was in 2016, 2017. So do that math. Um, the last time I was here, I'm pretty sure I sat at this exact table and there was this group of little kids who were playing and they were like really friendly and very outgoing and they came over and they just sat down and they started talking to me in like a mix of English and Korean and like that's one of my funniest memories of like that time period of my life actually and it's just weird to think that they're those kids are probably in high school like if they were 10 9 or 10 when they like came over like the oldest ones the leaders of the little kid gang they're they're in high school and i feel like i'm the same <laughs> it's just funny i ordered the same thing i'm sitting in the same place anyway time flies um so I'm gonna sit here a little bit longer, finish my tea, and then we're gonna head to the market to get me some real food, and that will be great. So I'll see you there. I'd give you the world like I promised. lady who makes like not rice cake but like really really pretty little desserts and I'm gonna see if I can get one it looks like she does gift boxes but maybe I can buy just last thing I'm gonna get here is there's this thing that this market is famous for and it's called sulbang and it, from what I gather, it is bread made with makgeolli but it's almost like a duck, like it looks, it's steamed bread. I don't know, but it's really famous here and I found one place that doesn't have a huge line and doesn't look super intimidating. I'm honestly like, everyone is so nice here. Like the guy at the duck place was the sweetest man and the, the woman selling me my little snacks she's so nice but i still get super intimidated especially when you're by yourself 
ordering at like a street food place where you stand and you eat. But this guy doesn't look intimidating and I can't even see him. There's so much steam coming out. So. <gasps> the goods now we're walking to Dungdae Beach which is where I'm staying tonight I'm gonna drop my stuff off at the Airbnb because this is a massive piece of bread and then we'll go get a coffee and it's winter so the sun is gonna set in about three hours so I want to see the beach before that and it's just a beautiful day strolling in Sokcho <sighs> apparently it's snowing in Seoul right now our first snow like just for like a minute, but escape that one. I can pretend that it's still autumn. <laughs> Cute, quick little tour. Bed, seating area. Kitchen, bathroom, and look at our view. Oh, wow, it's bigger than I thought. <gasps> oh my gosh. Also, yeah, Sokcho has a Ferris wheel that you could not pay me <laughs> any amount of money to go on. But yeah, wow. Oh. Stunning. Somewhere yonder, all of these are like cute cafes and eateries. I don't know what that megaphone person is talking about, but um, we're gonna head down there and get a tea after I relax for a sec. Ah, oh, stunning. Hi, we're at the beach. <laughs> um, let's go get a coffee. It's so peaceful. There's just like a couple people here. There are fireworks set up, but there's also no firework signs. So I don't know, maybe we'll see some. Hopefully not nearby. And yeah. Seeing you around doesn't really help me out. It doesn't make my life any easier. Wishing you were still in my arms, holding my hand, and not just some old picture on my Instagram. to tell it sucks to say but this it still hurts like hell I look for you in everything that I see I want 
wonder if you ever find yourself still thinking about me, thinking about me. Cause since you've been gone, I thought that I'd move on and maybe learn how to actually love someone. I'm not sure I can love. Sokcho winter wind has arrived. We gotta go inside, it is so cold. <laughs> okay, the time has come. I had a quick little samgak kimbap <laughs> as my protein. And now I'm going to see what the heck this is all about. <laughs> I walked up to the vendor and I, was like, oh my God, that's really big. And he was like, don't worry, you're only buying one slice. And I was like, sir, I am talking about the slices. This is one slice. It's bigger than my head. So what is this? Great question. I'm not actually sure. It is called sur bang, literally alcohol bread. It is made from makoli from Kangwondo, which is the province we are in. It's really fluffy, that's why it it literally just feels like duck. So I'm gonna break off a piece. So it's just like this <laughs> fluffy bread. It has beans and peas. It smells like dough. I, th that sounds stupid, but like it smells, it doesn't smell like bread, it smells like dough. Like it, it smells like Okay, just shut up and eat, hold on. It's good. It honestly tastes really similar to the rice cakes that you get for like birthdays or weddings. I'll put a picture up here if I can find them. Like those kind of steamed rice cakes. That's exactly what this tastes like, except it's apparently not a rice cake. What did Kurt say? I messaged him about it. It was very common or at least it used to be. So now it's kind of like coming back the trend because when you take it out of the like steamer or whatever and you go to like put it on display at the market, you know those like really viral cheesecakes in Japan that like jiggle? It kind of has a similar thing where like you take this big thing and you throw it and it jiggles and people just eat that up, literally. So it's kind of seeing a revival and there was one that had a line around the corner. There were, I saw, I think I did like a quick loop and I think I saw four different places. One of them had the biggest line of any vendor, of any food <laughs> in the market. It's just like a good snack food. I actually didn't eat any of the top. So this is it with the beans, hold on. Oh, oh, the beans make it, not so much the peas. I don't really taste the peas. But these, I don't know if they're like kidney beans or what they are. That's good. That was really delicious. I have a feeling though, that this bread goes bad quickly. So I'm gonna look up how to store it. Um, if I wanna have some for in the morning, but huge thing, five bucks. And then <laughs> continuing my market purchases. <laughs> I ended up getting these two really cute treats. I don't even know what they're made of. This one is a peach and I'm gonna save that for another time, but it's shaped, it just looks like a little peach. It's a Wonju premium Boksungabang, a premium peach bread, ow, from Wonju, but we're gonna try this one. This is the Danpung Bang foliage bang, and it's shaped 
like a little maple leaf. And she said it's with the, I believe it's red bean, but the main point of this bread is that there's maple inside. I'm sorry, I was like so distracted by how pretty it was that I didn't really listen. Oh yeah, it's it has maple syrup in it. Oh my gosh, this just smells like maple syrup. This is so good. Okay, hold on, I need a photo of it because it's really pretty. So you could get this in like a gift box of like 15 of them, all in like this beautiful display. So yeah, it's red bean with maple syrup. That is lovely and so subtle. It smells overwhelmingly like maple, but it doesn't it it doesn't taste overwhelming. It's really nice. Oh my gosh, if you like maple syrup, this is like your thing. That was so pretty. And she had like like I said, she had other ones and they were all from different parts of Korea. This one is specifically for like around here because I think it's for like Soraksan. Yeah. This is the Soraksan Dampungbang, which is like the Soraksan so why did I say Soraksan? Soraksan foliage bread. And this like Sokcho is kind of the closest. Yang Yang Sokcho is like the closest to Soraksan. How lovely. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm going to just kind of lay around here, read, go to sleep. And we're honestly heading home tomorrow because it's gonna be really cold and windy and I just wanted like one relaxing day. Like I wanted a little more time than a day trip, but I didn't want a whole weekend. Kurt actually got invited to go to the League of Legends World Cup. So he is MIA for the weekend. I'm just gonna kind of have a nice beachy morning and then um, head home before the crowds because Sokcho gets really crowded on the weekends because it's just beautiful. So I'll see you guys later, but thank you so much for joining me. See you in the morning. Get your hands on one of these. If you see these, Soraksan Dan Pung Bang. Okay, bye. <laughs>so um nothing is open yet i'm going to head to holly's um just to sit and look at the beach it's gorgeous it's so pretty it's actually a really nice temperature outside i'm really surprised and um the wind last night was absolutely insane but it's it's like kind of okay right now and why does the horizon look so are those boats is my eyesight bad? The horizon looks really bumpy. Okay, more on that later. Um, but yeah, after in like an hour or so, we're gonna head over there um, because there's like a viewing area and the bus station is over there. Um, so I'll see you in a second, but good morning. If you go insane, please take me with you. The ground beneath my feet can't hold me down at all. Your heart is getting heavy with every drop you bled out. And I was always ready to give you mouth to mouth. Oh, you got me good Dazed and confused Couldn't be more obsessed with you If I tried Oh, you got me good Daydreaming of this game.
feeds me illusions Do you remember the day I met you at the half moon bay I've been tired I'm surprised by how many people are around. I know that it's Saturday, but it's cold. And usually like touristy places aren't super busy until like 10, I guess it is 10 now. But I'm just surprised, pleasantly surprised to see how many like families are out already out on the town looking at things because nothing's really open yet. But yeah, it's, it's just cute. This is like, it's fun to be a tourist in places where Koreans are tourists as well makes me feel like a little less mm, like a foreigner I guess also I can't get a good angle of them anywhere but the mountains that surround this city are just stunning so I'll try and show you but just know gorgeous miscalculated and I there are two different bus stops and anyway my bus stop was further away than I thought it was so I quickly came over here a little bit closer um, just so I'm within walking distance because I don't trust I didn't know like taxis how often they come and buses do not come off in here so I just figured I would be in the area so we're literally just hitting another cafe I'm sorry I'm not sorry oh my gosh it's beautiful oh my gosh As I walk to the bus stop, um, something interesting, right where I went to a previous cafe, there's the Sokcho International Ferry Terminal. So I guess you can take a ferry. I'm assuming it's gotta be to Japan. How interesting. I knew that, I know that you can take a ferry to multiple places in Japan. I was thinking mostly from Busan, but I guess from all over. So that's something to think about. I'm going to head to the bus terminal. Make sure that you're going to the Gosok terminal. Oh my gosh, what a pretty house. Hold on. Look at this. But before I fully hop on my bus, I just want to give another shout out to Squarespace. Thank you so much for sponsoring this. Information will be down below, but you can go to squarespace.com slash carrycakes to get 10% off of your first website or domain if you are thinking of starting any kind of website. Thank you always. And yeah, I'm going to walk out of this wind to the bus stop. It's about two something hours um, to Seoul and yeah, feeling good. Thanks as always for joining me. And yeah, the wind is picking up. I'll see you guys there. <laughs> 